So guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. It's absolutely pouring with rain outside, so I feel that it's probably the best day that I could do an album review that's to do with some of the craziest black metal that is probably going to be released this year. Since originating in 1991, culture has always been at the epicentre of what enslaved stand for. Nordic Legend has been with the band since their inception, and slowly but surely, theoretically and musically, the band have grown over time. With that in mind, I welcome you to the world of Utgard. When looking at the definition of what Utgard can be, it can be many, many different things. It's a perfect compromise of their earlier historic tales that are based on mythology and a combination of a far more philosophical principle, which looks at the idea of archetypes and how mythology is actually based on our own behaviour as humans. I had uh, an interview with Ivar from Enslaved, which you can check out, and he probably gives a much better sort of definition of it than I would. On Utgard, despite the fact that Enslaved in the past have had really quite long songs, and that's been one of the real kind of draws for me, there's not a single track on this album which goes over the seven minute mark, and personally, I think they're all the better for it. I feel like Enslaved have been able to distill that sense of epicness and the sense of prog that they've had into a smaller kind of cut the fat size. And throughout Utgard, like a journey, there are so many different iterations of what Enslaved were, what Enslaved are, and what Enslaved can be. There's the juddering King Crimson style worship on Yetegrita, and Later on, at the end of the album, on Distant Seasons, it reminded me of that Pink Floyd, the Endless River sense of calm, which is, again, another thing I've really loved about the later Enslaved works. But then this is completely sidelined by the Tangerine Dream Krautrock-esque Utgarde, which has this sort of really impending spoken word from Grütle. Um, and then goes into Uryotin, which is Again, another curveball where you get this sort of almost more punky feel, especially with the bass. It just makes sense and really takes the band into something I don't think I thought they would ever go into, really, in terms of a direction. I also think it's fair to say that some of the more psychedelic ideas which were kind of hinted at on E have really been extrapolated in here. There are sections, I think, particularly with guitar and keyboard and how they sort of both align but then also kind of create this slight sense of discord which really brings that psychedelic element in, particularly on Yetegrita. <laughs> band really experimented and looked at their guitar tone. You know, there's different different tones for different sort of moods and sections, and again, it adds to that sense of the dynamics and really a big sense of build-up. I also think that Hawkon has really been let off the leash on this one and delivers some amazing vocal performances. And also, another mention has to go to the drummer, Eva, who's just absolutely incredible. Until I watched their uh, the journey into Utgard, which was broadcast last night, um, I didn't realise that some of the amazing vocal bits were actually from Eva, and he's playing these crazy drum fills at the same time as belting out some of the best clean vocals I think Enslaved have ever had. <laughs> That's not to negate anything of what Hawkon has done. I think his keyboards are fantastic. You can tell that they're really 
intertwined with the album and they don't kind of they're not just sort of like stuck on as a as an added extra. I also think that sequence has an amazing ethereal feel that reminded me of the In Times um, final track Daylight, which always just kind of really chills me out. And that's what I think is the real sense of escapism with Enslaved for me. And that's the, the biggest draw is that you can just you can put a record on and then one minute you're listening to this crazy black metal and then the next you're sort of floating off into Asgard. <laughs> makes this perhaps one of Enslaved's most inspired listens is that they're simultaneously able to distill exactly what the Enslaved sound is, but also push themselves further out of their boundaries than they've ever done before, and none of it sounds out of place. They combine a sense of familiarity with the unknown with a concept that is both incredibly simple but also incredibly complex at the same time and each time you go back into this album you have your very own unique journey into Utgard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this album review and you may have learned a little bit more about Enslaved and their new album Utgard. Please do leave a comment and I'd love to see what you think of the video, the album, everything's out now today so we can all talk about it. So thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon for another album review. Take care, my friends.